when we work with clients, and this goes back to my days at Disney, because sheer volume, you're going to get a fair amount of, of complaints. But what, what Disney has always done before social media and now through social media is instead of panicking and saying, oh my gosh, do we need to delete it? What do we need to do? Oh my gosh, we need to just turn. I, I see a lot of people panic and say, just turn it off. No comments, no nothing, just turn it off. That's not, that's not the way you want to go. You definitely want to give people the voice so they feel comfortable interacting with your brand. But what, what Disney always went back and did whenever there was a complaint card or a complaint on Facebook, they actually went in and tried to solve the problem as opposed to just deleting the comment. So they wanted to find out who was this person's experience with? Did they have a bad housekeeping experience? Let's find out who was the team leader on housekeeping that night and what actually happened. And then of course they want to rectify the situation. So if the guest is still there, they want to give them a positive experience moving forward. And if they're not still there, they'll go as far as, you know, writing notes and sending, you know, little gifts and says, we're so sorry, we just found out that this happened. We absolutely, you know, are going to make sure that nothing happens like this to any other guests. And we just wanted to thank you for leaving your comment with a token of our appreciation. Because if you thank somebody for leaving a bad comment, they're probably not going to leave one again because they're going to be pretty surprised that you handled it with such tact.